In this video, we will solve some problems on Euler-Lagrange's equation satisfied by four times differentiable function. Let us see example one. Find the curve which extremizes the functional i y x equal to integration 0 to pi by 4 of y double dash square minus y square plus x square dx under the condition that y at 0 equal to 0, y dash at 0 equal to 1, y at pi by 4 equal to y dash at pi by 4 equal to 1 by root 2. We have to find the curve which extremizes this functional. Solution of the problem. to find the curve which extremize which extremizes the given definite integral the integrand yup equal to y double dash square minus y square plus x square must satisfy the Euler Lagrange's equation f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash plus d square by dx square of dou f by dou y double dash equal to 0. This gives minus 2y plus d square by dx square of 2y double dash equal to 0. This implies that d square by dx square 2 is taken outside d square by dx square of y double dash minus 2y equal to 0. 2 is taken common and cancel and we will get d raised to 4y by dx raised to 4 minus y equal to 0. This is equation 1. We have to solve this equation. For solving this equation, it is homogeneous linear differential equation and hence its auxiliary equation is m raised to 4 minus 1 equal to 0, whose factors are m square minus 1, m square plus 1 equal to 0. 
which can be further factorized as m minus 1 into m plus 1 m minus i into m plus i equal to 0 and hence the roots of auxiliary equation are m equal to 1 minus 1 i minus i. Hence, its solution is given by y equal to a a raised to x plus b a raised to minus x plus c cos x plus d sin x. This is equation second, where a, b, c, d are constants of integration and are to be determined by using and are to be determined by using condition y at 0 equal to 0, this implies a plus b plus c cos 0, that means c plus d sin 0 is 0 and equal to 0. This is equation third. y at pi by 4 equal to 1 by root 2, this implies a e raised to pi by 4 plus b e raised to minus pi by 4 plus c into sin pi by 4 that is nothing but 1 by root 2 plus d into sin pi by 4 that is nothing but root 1, 1 by root 2 equal to 1 by root 2. This is equation 4. and y dash at 0 equal to 1, this implies a minus b plus d equal to 1 and y dash at pi by 4 equal to 1 by root 2, this implies a e raised to pi by 4 minus b e raised to minus pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2 into c plus 1 by root 2 into d equal to 1 by root 2. This is equation 6. We shall solve equations 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6. Solving equations 4, 5 and 6 for A, B, C, D. If we solve this three, four equations simultaneously, we can obtain A equal to B equal to C equal to 0, A equal to B equal to C equal to 0 and D equal to 1. And if we substitute these values, we will get the required curve. The required curve is y 
y equal to sin x. This x to minus the given integral y equal to sin x, x to minus the given integral. Now, we shall solve second example. Example second, minimize the functional i where i of i equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to 2 x double dot square dt satisfying the condition satisfying the condition x at 0 equal to 1 x dot at 0 equal to 1 x at 2 equal to 1, x dot at 2 equal to 0, x dot means dx by dt. Here, we shall solve this problem, solution, here f equal to x double dot square that means d square x by dt square bracket square. Now, the Euler Lagrange's equation d dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dot plus d square by dx square of dou f by dou y double dash equal to 0 becomes d raised to 4 x by dt raised to 4 equal to 0. Here instead of d, d, it must be dt. It is dt. The Euler Lagrange equation dou f by dou y minus d by dt of dou f by dou y dash plus d square by dt square of dou f by dou y double dash equal to 0. This equation becomes d raised to 4 x by dt raised to 4 equal to 0 and hence integrating 4 times we will get x equal to c1 t cube by 6 plus c2 t square by 2 plus c 3 t plus c 4 this is equation 1 and this solution is the equation 2 where x is given where this x given in 2 satisfies the boundary condition given in the problem x at 0 equal to 1 this implies c1 into 0 plus c2 into 0 plus c3 into 0 plus c4 that means c4 equal to 1 x at 0 equal to 1 this implies c4 equal to 1 x at 2 equal to 1 
this implies 4C1 plus 6C2 equal to minus 3. This is equation 3, this is equation 4, x dot at 0. For this, we must have to find out x dot of this. x dot is nothing but dx by dt and therefore, x dot equal to c1 into 3 t square by 6 means t square by 2 plus c2 into 2 t by 2 means t plus c3 and derivative of c4 is 0. And if we substitute the values x dot at 0 here, we will get c3 equal to 1. And x dot at 2 equal to 0, this implies 2c1 plus 2c2 equal to minus 1. 5, 6. We have obtained values of C3 and C4 directly as 1 and 1. And if we solve equation 4 and 6 for C1 and C2, we get C1 equal to 0 and C2 equal to minus 1 by 4. If we solve equation 3 and 6, And hence, substituting these values in equation 1, we will get x equal to minus t square by 4 plus c2 equal to minus 1 by 2 here, t square by 4 plus C3 t that means 1 t plus 1 that is nothing but minus t square plus 4 t plus 4 divided by 4. This is the function functional which minimizes the integral. Thank you.